Hi, today we're gonna to talk about the three numbers you must be tracking as a clinic owner. My name is Mark Benz and I own one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics in Canada. I'm also the founder of the Virtual CEO program. I work with people like yourself, massage therapists, physiotherapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists, all types. And I work with you to give the business that you've always wanted. So we create a bulletproof clinic for you. It's extremely financially successful and it gives you the lifestyle you've always wanted. Let's get started. First number you wanna be tracking, the number of initials. Now this speaks to flow in your clinic. Like a river, you need flow, okay? A river without water turns into a creek, turns into a puddle, turns into just rocks. You don't wanna have that happening in your clinic. So you need flow, those are clients. I don't know how busy or big your clinic is, but set a number. Is it one a day? Is it five a day? Is it 10 a day? What is it? But you need to be tracking initials and you need to be measuring to figure out are my initials going up? Or are my initials going down? Oh, okay, they're going down. Oh, what's bringing them down? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself. Ask your team, ask your therapist. Do the measurements, figure it out. Are your initials going up? Oh, wow, we doubled our initials. Oh, fantastic. I don't know, maybe it's the, the sound report sign you put outside, right? Maybe it's the lunch and learn you did at the local running club or the business. I mean, you gotta track it. If you're not tracking it, you are lost and you're never gonna get there. And that's what hurts, right guys? If you're just doing this and you're just lost and you're like, oh, I don't know what's working. I don't know what's not working. I don't know why initials come in. You're in a bad place, guys. A bad, bad place. So number one thing, track those initials. Okay. The second thing, you gotta figure out the average number of treatments per client. Really, really, really important because as the initials come in, you've spent the money, you've got them in the door, they've had a treatment. If they're not rebooking, there's something going deeply wrong with the therapeutic relationship with your therapist and that client. And that's what you have to solve for. And it is mission critical you solve for that. Because I'm not talking about you being the therapist, you being the therapist and treating people. Hey, that's cool. You got a decent idea. You were in the, in the treatment room. You might figure out by what they were saying or their uh, response to treatment, um, why they didn't come back. It is a complete different picture as you start to build up your clinic. And now you're on the outside all the therapists are working in the treatment room and you don't know why. <laughs> so you gotta rely on these numbers. Now I got a whole video, a whole video. It's, it's such an important video. And it's the equation that took my clinic from busy to profitable that goes into brutal detail about this. And it's in the notes below. Make sure to click on it. It's a life changer. So if you aren't figuring it out, if you are not figuring out this average number of uh, treatment per client, that's a number it's gonna get away from you and watch out, man. You're gonna just, again, be lost. You don't wanna be lost as a business owner. Set your destination, set your goals, go after them. Incrementally work towards where you need to go. Third number, net income. Another huge problem for clinic owners is that they go, oh, you know what? <clears throat> Gross billings, which is like, the billings, right? So, oh my God, we billed three hundred thousand dollars this year. Oh my God, this business is booming. No, it isn't. This business could be losing money. What you bill has very little connection to what you actually take home net income. Very little. There are so many business that bill so much money and they take home so little. It's not a business. Here's the thing, I'll give you a very simple equation and it brings it to reality. If you don't see this net income number, it's not a business. It's actually called a stressful job. 
If this net income number isn't increasing, you actually don't have a business to sell. People aren't gonna buy a business that consistently lose money, that has lots of people in it, and has a lot of complexity. Why would anybody at the end of the day invest in that business? And you gotta remember, you're creating this clinic for cash flow for yourself, that's your net income, so that's today. Hey, what's it making today? What's it making this month, next year? But the big thing at the end of the day is, can I sell my practice to someone? And that's why you run a clinic. That's one of the benefits is as you bring in more people to create structure and it's not just about you, you actually have a sustainable business to sell. But let me tell you, I can't believe the number of clinic owners I talk to. And they just, they're like blowhards. They tell me about these numbers. Oh, we got to a million dollars this year. Oh man, I mean, I, I love to hear it. Those are fantastic numbers. My next question is, what did you net? And I'm talking to someone right now. $800,000 net, $3,000. $3,000? You much work went in to make $800,000? Now, of course, series of issues created this discrepancy. That's what you're solving for. But if you're not looking at the net at all times, you will get so delusional about the gross, the, the, the biggest billing number, you could go bankrupt. Or you're just gonna work harder as a therapist in your clinic and you're gonna go, oh, I can't run my practice, I can't run my, my multidisciplinary clinic, I'm just gonna keep practicing as my, my therapy and I'm gonna chuck more money into the business and I really hope it works out. Oh no, please, please, please don't get in that situation. And the way you don't get in that situation is you track those numbers. So again, let's go over it. First thing, track the initials coming to your clinic. Second thing, as those initials coming in, average number of treatments per client. That tells you the therapeutic relationship is being built and you're creating a sustainable future for your business. Third thing is your net income must go up. If not, you got to adjust for it. Hey okay, guys, love talking with you. I love doing videos. Get out there, take action. And I can't wait to see your successes.